So this is one of the most common questions that we get in our clinic is, is this a tick? And we've had all kinds of different things come in, whether it's um, lumps or bumps that a, an animal has, spiders, uh, we've had fleas, and we've also had people try and take all their nipples off their dog thinking that it was they were actually ticks. Um, so it's very important as a starting point with our clients to make sure that they're comfortable understanding exactly what a tick is. So a tick, as opposed to an insect, an insect has six legs and has three body parts. A tick has eight legs and is actually more closely related to a spider than it is to an insect. They also only have two body parts, um, the basis capitulum, which is the head and thorax fused, and then the abdomen. They are very flattened dorsoventrally as opposed to from side to side like a flea is, and, and they aren't very easily squished. So spiders tend to squish very easily, whereas ticks are very, very hard to crush. They don't jump or fly. What they do is they get up on the low vegetation or they're down in the leaf litter and they extend their front legs and they do what we call questing, where they sense uh, movement or carbon dioxide of a potential host or blood meal walking by and then grab on as they go by. They do not jump onto them or fall from trees or anything like that. They are very small. We often have our clients be very surprised at how small they are even in the fully engorged state.